What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's Propio and welcome back to This Is The Police. We're heading into day 15, 16, something like that. Let's read the newspapers. May approves his commitment to nepotism. Mayor Rogers, if my nephew wants to lead the police, I will support him. City Police Chief not elected position, says Mayor Rogers. Ah, oh, Jack. I will never get over that shitty car that you got, mate. It'll always be a fucking highlight of this game. Um, it's my dog's birthday. I want to spend the day with her in the park and I have the day off. Fuck off, Birch. No. Alright, we got some stripes to give out. Who did good last time? Samadhi did pretty fucking good. I gotta be honest. Samadhi, have some badge. Have some badge, good sir. Alright. Uh, let's go with the barbershop quartet. Why not? All right, all right, all right. <coughs> what is this? Shift, shift A. Oh. Fire female cops. Considering certain recent events, we are obligated to grant some concession to the feminists. You are to make sure that at least half of the staff in the police are women. Why does it say fire female cops? It doesn't look like I should be fire- Oh, I have to make way for female cops. Ooh. Suicide threat. A taxi driver heard someone screaming and noticed a few people gathering around the bridge as he was driving past towards the port. He stopped to see if anyone needed help, but as he approached, he saw a man was threatening to throw himself and two children into the icy water below. Jason left us. I lost, I lost my job and my house, and there's no way we'll survive. It's better if we just end it now. To the taxi driver, it looked like a suicide. Let's send Staval, Birch, and Grant. Good. I like that. I like that. I feel like that's a good mix of people. Because Staval, if this succeeds, he'll bring up Birch and Grant, which is what we want. We want a more, uh, we want a more equal thing going on with all of our employees. We want to bring them all up. The shitty ones, a little bit up a little. That made no sense. Breaking and entering, an elderly man speaking in his raspberry in a wasp, <laughs> raspberry whisper. Just reported a break in. There's someone in my house. They're pounding on the door and marching all around downstairs. Hurry. Vandal. Samadhi. And Robbins. I'm not going to send in SWAT. I don't believe it's that serious that I need to send in the SWAT team. It could be a false alarm for all I fucking know. Let's be honest. Okay. Two tearful boys clearly in a state of shock are standing dangerously close to the edge of the bridge. Beside them, their drunken and distraught father is slowly pushing the children closer. Don't be upset, my friend. Tell me about your husband. Don't worry, that everything's going to be fine. Don't be upset, my friend. Tell me about your wife. Everything's going to be fine. Strong gust of wind boys one of the children off the bridge, but he recovered at the last second, stumbled to the ground with a scuffed knee. Uh, rushed to the aid of the child. Man slows his words, saying that there's no point to weighing the inevitable. Think about what you're doing. These, there is people who care about you. Children have their whole lives in front of them. You can't make this decision for them. Think about what you're doing. Oh, offender corps. Officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Yeah. That's what we want. That's what we want. We want a peaceful outcome. That's what we're, that's what we're hoping for all the time. Disorderly conduct at the business center. Secretary. Abigail Jones told the police that her boss, Martin Quebec, returned from a meeting in quite a state. When he entered, he took a bat of white powder from his safe and shut his door. Now he's yelling... Inca... 
and making a scene demanding that his secretary deliver him head of a unicorn or he'll cut her throat with a letter opener and then go after the rest of her family. That dude are tripping. Just a little bit. Just a, just a, just a little bit, you know? Oh, the breaking and entering case. False alarm. Okay, I knew, I knew it was going to be a false alarm. But you still send people, you know? There was no one except for dogs in the house. They were scratching at the floor, blah, 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 blah. Not a problem. As long as he's safe, it's all that matters. Alright, we got some people back. Let's send Stavar let's send all of them again. They seem to make a good team. They seem to make a good team. A member of the, of the family was at the restaurant having dinner with his secret lover. But because the affair was secret, he was light on protection, and one of the the Vargas agents was able to slip a grenade into the room. Okay. Well, I mean, I kind of have to, anyway. It's a grenade, it's a terrorist threat, it's a bomb threat. So I'm gonna have to re take, like, I'm gonna have to get people onto the case anyway. No, ma no matter if it, if it was a terrorist threat or if it wasn't a terrorist threat, I'd still have to do that. Okay, we got the do disorderly conduct. Awesome, no one was harmed. That's all I wanna- Ooh, we found some cocaine. I... No, I don't wanna ask the Mafia to sell it. Whatever I can keep away from the Mafia, I'm going to. I know that I'm hired by the Mafia now as the police chief. I mean, I'm going to keep some stuff on the hush-hush. Alright, so we've only got the one case now. That's on the go, which is the... It's the Mafia case, anyway. The grenade. Which looks like it's all working out, alright? Hostage situation. With a fatal casualty, a man wearing a suit walked into a lobby of, of the bank, locked the doors, and proceeded to kill several customers. He never said a word. He just started firing at people, reported one of the eyewitnesses. A dozen people remained inside the building, and the criminals demanding demands are yet unknown. Let's send a swap for this one. Stavall, Robbins, and Birch can go. That's the kind of case you need the SWAT team for, let's be honest. That is the kind of case you would need the SWAT team for. Why can I hear a car? Is it, that's not a good. Situation is more serious than before requesting reinforcements. Jesus, how many reinforcements do you need? I'll send you everyone my fucking god. My entire, entire unit is just out doing that. The Sands need help. Sweet girl named Anna is one of the capable She's going from work and found out her house was on fire. The arseholes were still. I can't do anything, so. Uh, no bueno. No bueno. Sorry, Mr. Sands, but. There's a more serious case. Oh, here we go. Off offenders Court. Officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. That's what I'm talking about, team. Go, A team. All right, I could I could help the Seds out as well, which is good, I guess. They only need two people, right? So I'll send Stavall and Samadi. Don't ask any questions. Just do. Cool. Um, what have I got? Yeah. Yeah. There's no cop like chicks. There's like zero chicks. I have three days to get some females. Okay, I could hire some females on this. Uh, I can't just fire him for no reason. Has anybody got a reason to be fired? Anybody at all? Birch. Too old? 
I could fire Birch for being too old. Mm. Yeah, I'll fire Birch. Unfortunately. And now I'll hire Donna for this shift, shift A. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, this is shift B. Motherfuck. Can I move her? <laughs> Donna, 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 where is she? What was her last name? Donna Fitzsimmons. Okay. Alright. She needs to be hired first. And then I can deal with her. Fucking... Fucking trying to... Squeeze me out of getting good people. Oh, here we go. This is the investigation, right? Okay. Well, it's not going to be that. Can't put that there, that there. Aha! Sequence complete. William Holden, frequents of the local bars, report repeated arrest for driving under the influence. Let's go arrest that fucker. Van Hall. Let's get some Marty. No, Robbins. There we go. Oh, what? I need another two people for this? Uh-oh. Um. How long do I have? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just send... I'll send Birch and I'll send Grant. Yep, yeah, I don't care. We have to we have to go. We gotta do it. We gotta try and wrap this case up as fast as we can. I don't like it when the cases go over. Multiple days, I don't like that. Here's the hit and run, offend the court. Awesome. That's all I needed. Case closed. Is it as that? So where are the others going then? Aren't they going on the same case? I'm confused. Hit and run report. Wrong place. Okay, good. Let's end the day there. Whew, what a day. What a day. Yes, I'm keeping the sands ahead. That's what I need. I need the sands to be ahead because I... As far as the two mafias go, I feel like the sands will be the best option. Because I know that they're going to keep order. These guys are just violent for no fucking reason. So I'm good with that. I'm good. Shift B we've got. Uh, what happened to the new recruit? What did happen to my new recruit? I don't fucking know. Checkpoint. Do we get any more story, or is it all just you play it from here on until the retirement? Businessmen express desire to leave the city. Move production studio may appear in Freeburg. 86% of residents oppose demolition of Corn Monument. We'll do one more day, and then uh, we'll wrap up. Like we usually, like we usually kind of do. Okay. My grandfather has epilepsy and recently had his seizures have gotten worse. They happen more often and they all end in tears. The doctors say he needs a special new drug that I can only get out of town. Can I go and get the drugs for him? Yeah, okay. I was up all night and couldn't sleep and now I have ring ears. Can I take the day off? No! Yeah, it's shifty bitch. Trying to get the day off on my fucking watch. Let's get some buggy flavor. Buggy flavor. I need to stop saying that joke. It's... <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, it's a bad joke. I know. I know. I just keep using it for some reason. Another day in Freeburg, Mr. Wayne. Don't know why I went with Bane's voice. Freeburg Elementary. Sands family main attorney is under guard around the clock, and that that goes double for his children. 
But before we could pick them up from school this morning, some of the Vargas punks kidnapped them. Alright. What's Senkoshi and Asano? Kidnapping. I mean, everything that the mob has been asking us to do technically is legal. Like, it's a, it's a kind of, it's a case. Because kidnapping and, uh, people with grenades. Serious kind of concerns. Two senior students began a fight right in the middle of the chemistry class. Their teacher first tried to calm them down, but then she attempted to separate them before she was poked in the eye. I think you only need McC McNally for that. You only need one person to go for that, I feel. You only need the law enforcement to show up and just be like, stop it. And then they'll stop it. Alright, we got a theft. Oh my. Let's do it. We don't have our lead detective on this one, which is... What can you do? Drug sales. Mrs. Dunbar said that the nurse tried to sell her drugs right in the hospital. Went to the doctor after I broke my arm. The nurse heard me complaining about the pain and waited until the doctor left. Then she started telling me about pills she could get me. Better than Vicodin, according to her. Alright, well, we can't have some shady business going on here. Price, you go with them. You need Price needs all the help that they can get. There's a fight report. Here we go. Offender court. Officers unharmed. Awesome. I knew that. You just send one guy. It's the police. Teenagers would shit themselves. Oh, here comes the theft. Uh, from Mrs. Campus. I walked the museum every hour. The alarm was off. City Hall won't allocate the money to fix it. Didn't hear the gr the glass break. It's a big museum. When I went down to blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read all these. You guys can read them if you want and pause. The cases are pretty self-explanatory. I gotta be honest. Got to be completely honest. They're a little bit... They're a little bit meh at this point. The cases are kind of boring. Here we go. Offender court officers unharmed. Good, that's what we want. Found cocaine. Let's bring it back to the station. Don't want the mafia to sell it. Ooh, Mr. Boyd, I'm a wealthy man. I'm concerned about the fate of our fair city. I would like to fund three additional officer positions at your police department, but I must make one addition. My adopted son is to take one of the new jobs, of course. You mustn't fire him under any circumstances. Do we have a deal? Sure. He's terrible. I knew that was going to be the case. Some goons grabbed my half-sister, one of the family members ran right off the street, her driver called us from a nearby payphone, Alright, what's sand? It's a kidnapping, so... McNally and Asano. Alright, that's good, I've got three new positions now. Well, two new positions. Because this... Per Percy guy... has taken up one of them. And he's worse than Price. Which is bad. We got a robbery. Uh, parking valet just called in, reporting a girl. Okay. Kochi and Percy can go. Yeah. Because I want him to try and get his experience and everything up. I want him to level up a little bit. I think it's a him anyway. It's got a mustache. Could be a girl for a fucking mustache. I don't know. Fender court. Officers unharmed. There we go. Leveled up. See? What do we got next? Uh, an older prisoner tried to eating one of the f one of the food served at the prison cafeteria. Made his way into the kitchen carrying a chef. Intent on having a word with the chef. A guard called the police. As he was reluctant to enter the kitchen in fear of provoking the prisoner. McNally. Uh, Purdy and Asano can get on that. Good. I like it. I feel like we're we're just plowing through these fucking missions. It's it's great. It's good. Just plowing through them as best we can. All right. What's the verdict? 
with Mr. Stabby Stabby. Did we arrest him? Kitchen floor is decorated with broken plates and an over overturned pan filled with muddy slosh. An elderly prisoner is sitting on a stool, dipped his hand in a pot of slush and shoved it towards Cook's face, telling, yelling, you try to eat this shit. Um... Well... Hey, we got a couple nice warm burgers here. That was easy. Just tell them we've got burgers. I got some burgers. You want some burgers? I don't got no burgers. It's like that Adam Sandler movie. Longest Yard. Cheeseburger Eddie. It's, it's like my favorite fucking thing in that movie. I got the fries that will bring tears to your eyes. I got the burgers that'll... I just got burgers. It's like my favorite line in the movie. We got a theft report. Here we go. Open our investigation. Uh, grab that. Grab that and that, I'm guessing. I don't fucking know. That could be there for a while now. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. I'll be the first to admit it. Is there a scripted event that's meant to be happening right now? I, honest to God, got no idea. I don't have enough frames to fill this shit in. <sighs> Ow. Let's whack my screen. There we go. End of day. I was like, sure we. There wouldn't be a fucking scripted event this later on. Oh, we are double. That is good. Because I want the mob, like, if the, if one of the mafias is going to run the city, right? Which I feel like that's the way it's going to go. I want them to at least have a good relationship with the police department. So that everything's getting done right. In, in, to a certain extent. To a certain extent. I'm going to leave this episode here of This is the Police. I hope you guys are still enjoying it. I'm still having a blast with this. The story is entering some interesting places. So we're going to continue this next time. But for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the Proper Jay merch store down below. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Proper Jay and peace out. Beyond your trembling skin, beyond your wayward feet, and every solemn promise. That you swore you would keep When you saw yourself